It's been tough, definitely. Ukrainians fleeing conflict who have found safety here in Canada are now facing a new set of challenges. Bureaucratic barriers that are limiting their access to things like medical care, critical prescription drugs, and even their own personal finances. Natasha Samsonovna has been working to get members of her family out of Ukraine since the invasion started, and now her mother and stepfather have landed safely in Manitoba. However, while away from shelling and unprovoked violence, she claims they're struggling to get coverage under Manitoba Health, have had difficulty exchanging currency, and have been unable to open a bank account. It's a huge concern because uh, uh, definitely I'm in a position of providing like a food and the roof and like some simple stuff yeah so that's okay i'm not going to be able to pay cancer bills unfortunately i don't know who will be able to pay cancer bills sam snovana says her loved ones both who have medical conditions are covered under travel insurance for now but it's unclear how long they'll be staying in canada and she says there needs to be avenues for those fleeing the conflict to access provincial services and support this is like that bare minimum that province should uh, provide people with sam snovana says she'd like to see rebates on airfare for those who help people flee and maybe further property tax assistance if people opened up their homes to those fleeing the conflict, saying the Ukrainian community can't welcome these people alone. But this is not enough. Community can bring those people here. Community can provide medical care here. Both of Sam Snovana's loved ones say the process to come to Canada needs to be simplified. They too have loved ones and friends ready to come. But her mother, Lolita Sam Snovana, says the process needs to be improved. So she's saying that if there would like if there would be a clear process how those people can come for, to Canada, some of them would even willing to uh, pay for the airfare tickets if like Canada ca Canadian government will help them to get out of the Kiev and provide some clear process how they can do it and then what's going to be next, yeah? So then they're going to land. What's going to happen with them? Lolita says if she could speak to Manitoba's government, she would ask for easier access to Canada and support from the government as a whole, as many back home are still in dire situations, stressing these are not demands, but pleas for help. Uh, especially for someone elderly, that uh, those people just can't survive under the bombing, under the shelling. Uh, they can't survive it physically, they can't survive it emotionally. So, uh, yeah, so she's just asking for help. City News reached out to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada to get a response on challenges facing newly arrived Ukrainians, but a response was not received by deadline. In a statement, the province of Manitoba says it's working to help Ukrainians fleeing the conflict, waiving the usual $500 fee in place for the Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program for Ukrainians, saying it will continue to work with the federal government to welcome as many people to Manitoba from Ukraine as possible. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.